It's me, Seymour Truth, Mr. President. And I heard the good news John McCain says, we're winning in Iraq. Well, at least somebody agrees with us. Speaking on behalf of all Americans, sealed up tight behind 18 cubic yards of old cinch sacks and industrial strength duct tape, I'm proud to be doing my part. Spying on my neighbors, watching Fox News religiously, and spending every last dime on heavy antidepressants. But sir, I've had a problem ever since you came out for abstinence in your State of the Union address. I realized if my wife and I continue to have sex, we might be liable to government reigns. That's why I'm writing, sir. What does the Patriot Act say about the sex act? Should we take star 69 off the phone? We're waiting for your answer. In the meantime, I told my wife we got the Nordic track and plenty of Xanax. Who needs sex? Well, sir, that's when she grabbed the keys to the SUV and ran out of the house. Next thing I know, she was calling me from the freeway. I'm going crazy, she said. It's an orange alert, an amber alert, a smog alert, and the fuel light's blinking in the expedition. Damn it all to hell, I just built that damn thing five minutes ago. Mr. President, whatever happened to the spoils of war? We took Iraq, when's the gasoline gonna start to flowing? No, nope, never mind, I take it back. Sorry, sir, you know I support you 1,000%. I'm sure you got other priorities like uh, heavily armored golf carts, but um, getting back to the bitter half, I says, listen, get off the freeway, turn off the factory air, keep it under 25 miles per hour. If you drive slow enough, you'll only have to stop twice for gas. Which reminds me, sir, is your roadmap to Middle East peace gonna be available at Shell stations? If not, you can go ahead and use that idea. <laughs> Patriotically yours, I'm Seymour Truth.